Hey, good morning, everyone. I just wanted to hit on a little something before I, I left off to work. Um, one of the things that I, I noticed about my my routine every morning was that I used to get up, you know, before I even rolled out of bed, I would turn on my phone, flip over to Facebook and start reading the, reading the, reading the posts, reading the, reading the walls and seeing what people are saying. Um, and the thing is, I noticed that there was a lot, I'm saying a lot because there was a lot of negativity just in general. And the reason is there, there's a lot of people that I have allowed to be friends with me or I've, that I've friended on my Facebook that um, are within the community in which I work. Um, and, the, and the reason is, is because part of what I do is I help people. And I help people, you know, reach academic, career, professional goals uh, from a point where they're unable to, to uh, you know, obtain full-time employment because of certain barriers. And so I get along with these people. I grew up around them, you know, for the for the, like the last ten years. So I have a good connection with a lot of them. So. A lot of the things that I post on Facebook are motivational and inspirational. I, I post a lot of my my own personal Instagram photos. I do a lot of photography, a lot of landscape photography. So uh, I'll have a link onto my Instagram account, and I take a lot of good photos. I edit them and I add um, elements of just motivational quotes to give each photo a personality to fit sort of the motto or the um, the overall theme that I want to give the photo. So anyway, a lot of these individuals are on my friend uh, and my friend lists and I noticed that a lot of their posts, they're just extremely negative. And so I noticed that this was taking a toll on my mental state every day. So what I decided to do was stop doing that. Every morning when I woke up, I did. I didn't touch my phone. I actually got up, moved my feet around, and I found a place of solemn, quiet to sit down and think about what I'm thankful for. You know, I'm thankful for you know, my girlfriend, the woman of my life, the woman who pushes me every single day, challenges me, and has shown me the beauty of parenthood and fatherhood and, and what it's like to be with someone who really wants to be with you, not just because, you know, they need somebody in their life to feel whole or because they want something. It's It was a mutual thing and it's one of the greatest, it, it is the greatest relationship I have ever had. And she's phenomenal. I'm also thankful for my daughter and what she has shown me, I have become a better person because of her and I strive every single day to create a better world for her because I want the best thing to leave this planet um, in a much better shape than what I inherited or what I what I came into and then I think about that and I also think about how fortunate I am to be in the position that I am to have hit my bottom to go through a difficult phase in my life where I made a lot of life changes in order to better myself and along the way I learned to become much more self-aware which is something that Gary Vaynerchuk discusses in his videos the self-awareness is huge it's a big part of eq emotional intelligence it's your ability to look at yourself and just understand what you're feeling why you're feeling that way and understanding that um why you're feeling certain ways and how you handle yourself with other people and so the biggest thing that I've been able to do is understand and just be honest with myself. Sometimes I wasn't always the best. Res I didn't respond the best to certain things. I was I was quick to have, you know, I would act out on certain things or I would, I would snap at certain things or become frustrated or angry at certain things. And through self-evaluation self and self-management and self-assessment, I have been able to realize what I do, why I do it, and why when I do it a certain way, it's detrimental and it's negative and I need to change that. And so that's one of the, that's another one of the changes that I had over the years um, that I'm thankful for. And now 
I'm a humble person. I I'm confident and I have a great deal of of just positivity all the time and I understand that I'm not perfect in the emotions that I have and and the things that I do and say to people, you know, have an impact and I need to start taking them much more seriously. Um, and so that's one of the things I'm also thankful for. I'm also thankful for, uh, you know, the positivity that I've chosen to have in my life. And that is included, um, uh, sadly enough, cutting people out of my life because I want my daughter to be in a positive world and being surrounded by positivity. And if, and if you're surrounded by five people who are negative, unemployed, uh, not happy with their life and in horrible relationships and always trying to drag other people down and finding negativity in everything that they do, finding negative things in other people. Like if you mention a new person, hey, I met this person uh, over at the store. They're like, oh, that person, let me tell you about them. I want to hear people who, oh man, that's great. Oh, did you hear he just got a, you know, he had a kid, he has a kid on the way or he got a promotion or did you hear about that person that he helped out? That's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear the negative stuff. There's The thing is you can always find negative whether you're, regardless of how hard you look, you're always going to find it. But the thing is, the hard part is finding the positivity in things. And so I want to surround myself with people like that. So I've been able to create a much more positive environment for myself and for my daughter and for my family. And that has helped me grow. That has helped me develop. And that has helped me become a better person. And I'm thankful for that. So every single day I think about the woman of my life, you know, my daughter, and how I've been able to grow emotionally through EQ and emotional intelligence and also for the positive changes that I made in my life through positivity and enforcing positivity in my life by cutting certain people out and making certain changes. And so that's what I'm thankful for every single day because without those things, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. I just wanted to go off on a little, on a little quick rant here because Facebook was always something I checked in the mornings and I don't do that anymore uh, simply because of the fact that it's just full of negativity and it doesn't help me start my day in a positive state of mind. I want to start my day thinking positively that the world is better than what people make it out to be, that there's a lot more things out there to, to point at that are better than the negative things. And I want to show my daughter, you can wake up in a good mood or not feel like you want to get out of bed and grumpy and all that, but still feel positive and motivated to go into the day and be thankful for the things that you have because there's a lot of things in life that we take for granted. So a quick little little vlog that I was hoping to would take three minutes is taking eight minutes. So I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you for watching. Please send me your comments, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Thank you.